Hey everyone, and welcome back to Miss Azrael's Gaming. So today we're going to get started into a new game. It's called uh, Door Dogney. Um, it looked like it was an adventure game about a little girl, and I think she has like a friend. And she's visiting her grandmother, I believe. <laughs> I could be wrong because the last time I looked up this was like a couple weeks ago. Um, it was, I think it's free on the Game Pass. Uh, so let's go ahead and start a new new game. Traffic, that's always the worst. Especially what is your three. first memory? Mine, mine is somewhere in the last few months before my 13th birthday. Whatever happened before is gone. Forever gone. remember anything. Okay, chapter one, the house. <sighs> the stream again. My head hurts, and so does my back. Maybe it's because you slept in your car. Where's my phone? It must be Dad. Okay, so open the bag. New message. From Fabrice. Where are you? Your mother's worried sick. Of course it's Dad. As if you weren't. Not far from uh, Dordogny. Dor Almost at the house. Mm. I should answer. I get that. Um, let's say this one. Quickly, for once, let's see what he has to say. What are you hoping to achieve? You know what I want. I want to clear the house out. Nor left me a box. Memories. I need to find out more. I need to do this. I need to find answers. I don't want to fight with you. Okay. You don't. Come home. He'll never understand. He hates, hated Nora. Doesn't matter. The removals, uh, the removals people are coming on Friday to get rid of all the junk. Do what you want, but you can't change the past. Hmm. This isn't going to be easy. Come on, Mimi. You can do it. I should stop answering for now or else I'll keep sending messages until I come home. In the, in the same week, I lost my job and my grandmother Nora died, and I got my hands on two letters. <clears throat> Dear Fabrice, I'm writing to let you know that in accordance with your mother's will and recent phone call, the uh, Dodorgny house will be emptied next week. I would like to express- oh, that's neat. <laughs> This is so deep when I scrolled down, her hands went up. I would like to express how deeply sorry I am for your loss. Nora was a friend of mine, and I hope you don't mind me saying, but uh, despite your differences, I know you cared as much for her as she cared for you. Please let my office know if you change your mind regarding the sale of the house. Given the current state of the market, I have no doubt you'll find a buyer before December, but a property like this should stay in the family. You'll find in this envelope a few words addressed to your daughter. Thank you for giving it to her directly. With my most sincere condolences, Simon uh, Langlaus Yao, notary uh, Bordero, Bordero, I believe, France. Yeah, I stole this letter from Dad. He was never going to tell me about Nora, about my own grandmother. But the other message that was the biggest surprise. It's 
the other one? Do we get to see it? Dear Mimi, this letter will come as a surprise to you. Your father decided to cut ties with me 20 years ago. A choice I understood, but never accepted. Thank you. This letter is about goodbyes. I will be gone by the time you read it. I've left something for you in my house. A box of memories and a letter. It's a really old looking car. It's one of them gangster cars. I hope you like to play and explore as much as you did the last time you visited Dordogne. Forever with you, Nora. remember this place. I've been here before, but I don't remember anything. I wonder if... Would they hide the key somewhere? Okay. One for phone and two for letters. Okay, that's... We're supposed to do so grandma's house find a way into the garden. Okay, let's check out our phone real quick. Um... Hi Mimi, uh, this is from Justine. Everybody misses you at the agency. I miss you too, I'm upset. I was fired, but I'm glad I'm not there anymore. Justine, please come and save us. I have stuff to deal with right now. I need to come over soon. Alex, who's this? Mimi, this is my new phone number. Alex, oh sorry, I walked past our Chinese restaurant yesterday and thought about you. Let's have lunch there. Wednesday? Sure. Shrink, this is Dr. Chumaz, secretary. She scheduled a session for your second appointment at 9.15 next Saturday. Uh, thank you and take care. Hello, your next appointment with Dr. Chumaz is at 9.15 on Saturday. Hello, Dr. Chumaz will see you on Tuesday the 15th, usual time. Okay, so we've read all these. Okay, so I was sort of right about this game. Um, She's not a little girl at the start, but she, um, okay, so that's the letter her grandmother sent her, but she, uh, is going back to go over the stuff that her grandmother left her. So. Oh. I can see something in the letterbox. Oh, a key. Someone must have dropped it in there. Those are a letter. Let's empty that letter box. Ads. That's a really good deal if you need a power saw. Someone's lost their cat. October 1st, 2002. To Nora's family. I just heard about Nora's passing and I want to share with you my deepest sadness. The whole town shares your pain and we hope you will find peace in knowing how m much good Nora did since she moved in the region in the 50s. Our most sincere condolences, the mayor Pauline Preblos, the deputy mayor Simon Alquis, and everybody at the town council and the town market. That was kind of them. Can't get my fingers through this opening. But the letter box is loose. I think I can lift it and shake it. Shake, 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 shake. Ah. D. 
Damn, the key is stuck at the bottom of the letter box. Let's see if I can take the back off the letter box. Just rotate. Wait, she just happened to have a screwdriver on her? I'm not gonna complain. Thankfully, I had a screwdriver in the car. Yeah, see, they had to explain it because it's like she just magically had one. Got it. Let's grab that key. Okay. You collected the key. Now I'll be able to open the door. Now to the house. Locked from the inside. I'm trying to get up on the door and I was having trouble there. Wow, I'm shaking. Oh no, oh no. I feel like I'm back in table manners. There we go, it fits. So. Here we go. I don't remember anything about this place, yet this house feels like home. Too bad I can't see a thing. Find some light to look around the house. Can I not use my cell phone? Does it not have a light? I mean, I guess I could use the candle over there. Here you are. <sighs> Key check. Light check. Next goal? Huh? The box Nora left for me. Stop talking to yourself, Mimi. What pin? Wait, this pin. Wait. button. Oh, what's that? Do you remember this pen? I knew you would find it right away. Yours truly, Nora. I spent a summer writing with this. Writing in my... Wait, I... I remember. Make sure she brushes her teeth. She's always trying to get out of doing it. Fabrice, I know how to bring up a child. I'm glad she's here with me. We'll have fun, the two of us. I look grumpy. That was before we moved to the States. 1982, I think. We have to go now. Mimi? Mimi? Yes? Say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Must be some crappy parents if she doesn't even want to say goodbye to them. Let's get your suitcase to your room. Whatever, okay. Pack my suitcase in the upstairs bedroom. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nope. What is that? You collected a new sticker. Sweet, there's stickers. So tired, but got to unpack first. Not in the mood. Now I must collect the stickers. 
The gate's open. Grandma used to lock it before. Grandma was afraid I would drown. Hm. I know how to swim. The pond was Grandpa's idea. The cats are definitely Grandma's. Ooh, sticker. You collected a new sticker. On. You collect six. Ew, it's a snail. I hope I won't have to eat these. It feels empty without Grandpa. I gotta unpack first or they'll tell me off. Grandma and Grandpa used to do crosswords here in the morning. I don't see any more stickers, so... This is going to be a long summer. I like the art style. It's definitely different. Ooh, pantry. Mm. I'm going to eat some of that ham over there. I shouldn't be in here. Why not? Do you see all of that delicious food? Got some ham and bananas. Tomatoes. Strawberries. Looks like mushrooms. Some sausage. Wait, can I get up? Or is that the door to the... I bet that's the door to the pantry. Okay. This kid walks too slow. cute. I wish I stayed back in Paris. What am I doing here? Is that okay, I want to make sure that was what I clicked on. And if you know me, I like to explore every square inch. New sticker. Who's just leaving all these great stickers around? Greetings from Mexico. Well, oh, there's gotta be stickers in the toilet. These albums or books? I think these are books. Hmm. Be something you have to go through for the <laughs> books in the bathroom. Just begging your uh, visitors to stay in your bathroom forever. <laughs> Boring. safe to have a tree indoors? Uh, oh, I'm using the bathroom. Well, why didn't they use the one downstairs? Better. I went to the one downstairs. There were books down there I could have used. No. We could go up in the boring one. Do not enter sign. It's funny. <clears throat> First day, I miss my friends. You're with your grandma. Quit being a jerk. Go and unpack first, then we can have something to eat. Can we have some of that ham? Ugh, why do I have to do it now? Okay, open the suitcase. <clears throat> I love having to do all of this. You have to click and drag. If it was like real, mum, protect. What is that? I've protect mum. Mum protect I've. I don't know what that. 
Always protecting me as if I'm a baby. Oh, tiring dad. Okay, I get it. It's her remembering stuff why she does it. She keeps inventing problems and she's exhausting. Don't put your flip-flops in with your shirts. What's wrong with you? Put your shoes in other places, not in your drawers. Hope. Boring. This summer is going to be so boring. And your toothbrush. Girl, get your toothbrush out of your drawer. It goes in the, on the sink. Grandpa. I like Grandma, but without Grandpa, it's going to be strange. What's that? Mom must have popped this in my suitcase. Yeah. Map. You've unlocked a new location, Grandma's house. Ooh. A map. That'll be useful if I can get out of the house. Okay, I better go downstairs. Reach Grandma in the kitchen. Oh, that's the bathroom. The kitchen's this way. Hey, Gma, what are we eating? All done? Yep. Can I go and play outside? It's dinner time soon. Uh, why don't you draw something? There's paper in the living room. Find some paper in the living room draw. Dang it, Grandma. Tell me what to do. Although I put my flip-flops and my toothbrush in my drawers, so I probably do need to be told what to do. Your dad told me you had some homework to do over the summer for your new school. Huh? Freaking dad. Collected the binder. I couldn't find any paper, so let's use this whole thing. Draw. I'm not even. I'm not seven anymore. <sighs> what should I draw? <laughs> She's probably like eight. Oh, I actually get a draw. Oh, that's so much fun. <laughs> Parents, always a safe choice. Oh, look, I'm gonna put them like this, and then they're holding hands. I'm so talented. Have you finished? Yes, I have. What? What have you done? This, this I, isn't I for didn't drawing. Know. It looked old, and of course it's old. I've had it since before your dad was born. I, it's just that. in trouble. What's funny is she complains about it and then didn't take it from me. <laughs> what, why am I laying on the floor? I, I'm i sorry, Mimi. Listen. Silence. Sorry. Let's say sorry. Sorry, I thought... No, no. It's fine, sweetie. You've never shown me that binder before. Is it a secret? I usually lock it up in the attic. Oh? It's probably like her husband's or something. Old. Binder. Hidden. Oh, I don't know. Let's say binder. What is it exactly? It's a binder. An old thing I've had for decades. This binder is very important to me. Your grandfather and I, we used it to write to each other through these pages. So, it's precious? Yes, but... Maybe. You know what? Why don't you take it? Take it? Why? Because it wasn't meant to end. We used the binder so it would never be over. We could always add pages. Do you understand? I think so. It's like a never-ending book. Promise me you'll keep writing and drawing in it. 
that you'll keep it alive. Would you like me to show you how to use it? Yeah. First, you can write everything you need to remember to do here. Let's add the map your mother gave you. This way you, can, you can't get lost. We always kept the binder organized, so I'm hoping you'll do the same with the tabs. All the little memories you've collected are tidied and stored in here. Maybe we'll put some new stuff in this binder over the holiday. I'll let you explore it by yourself. Okay, so our stickers go here. Chapter 1 stickers. Chapter 1 words. So I guess these are things that we could have picked. I don't know if those are going to be used for something. Got our to-do list and the house and the map for chapter one. Okay. It's <laughs> cute. Oh, I want that sticker. Chapter 2, The River. The binder. I remember it now. Maybe the binder is in the box. The candle won't last forever. Let's open the shutters. Get some more natural light into the house. So. Ah, feels good. Pictures of strangers. Much better. This place hasn't changed. Nor's kitchen, always spotless. Something here on the table kind of stands out, but I don't think I can look at it just yet. Oh, can't click on that. Must be at some point. This room is a mystery to me. It's a pantry. How is that a mystery? Maybe she doesn't cook. One of the similar but Oh, look. Okay. Uh, April 23rd, 2002. Dear Nora, I'm sincerely sorry to hear the news about your health. There is, I believe, some solace to be found in knowing how long you have left. I take... I take the liberty of saying this to you because we are friends and I have seen too many families torn apart after a sudden passing. As for your request, it has been received and will be dealt with shortly. I am going to see what I can do from my side. There is a chance you might have to come down to the office in Bordeaux in the next few weeks to sign some documents. If you want to, we could fondly reminisce about the time your husband was teaching me French grammar and spelling. With infinite thanks for your words and deeds, your friend Simone Langlaus Lau, uh, Notary Bordeaux, France. Okay, so these are all the same letters then. Okay. Pictures of random people. Should I, should I go in Nora's room? The box might be there. I'll only search in here if I really have to.
Impressive. Dang, that tree is huge. It's kind of a weird place for a tree. More books. She probably left it in my my old room. Locked. That's a pity. Maybe she put the binder in my room. After all, she wanted me to find the box. I've been here in 20 years. Grandma left me a box. It should be in my room, right? I can't see a thing. Let's open the shutters. <sighs> Feels good. see what's in here. I have a tape. Cassette tape. This is ancient. Where am I going to find a tape player in 2002? Letters. I'd better save them. I don't want the removal people to throw them away. Let's see. A letter Nora wrote to uh, Edward. Oh, Grandpa. Paris, October 11th, 1970. Dear Edward, the trip to Paris is wearing me out and I miss our home terribly. Yesterday for lunch, I saw some colleagues from the agency. Michelle says hi. I met some of the new architects, including a couple of very bright interns. The stench of cigarettes and cold coffee, the crumbled paper sheets, the tables covered in drawings. What a joy to find again these half-forgotten memories. I immediately felt a strange, uh, lassitude? Lastitude? And went back to the hotel. I had to be arrested to meet Helena, uh, Fabrice's new girlfriend. Dinner was in a small bistro in Port Maliot. Oysters, because I absolutely love them. Helena comes from a very wealthy family, but she's quite nice if a little uptight. You know me, I couldn't stop teasing her about that. And Fabrice and I started one of our little arguments. If you had been there, you would have found the right words to calm him down. I couldn't, so I lost my temper. Time for me to leave. It's quite late, and I would like to sleep before the next leg of my trip. Tomorrow is Nets. After tomorrow is uh, Quibron. I'll be back as planned next week by 4 p.m. train. Until then, a drop. I drop a kiss on your lips. You're Nora. Hmm. Mum and Nora meeting. That was tense. Hmm. Late 1970. She was already pregnant with me. Paris, August 28, 1978. I'm taking the time to write down these few words in the hope that you will be able to forgive your son. After our rushed exit from your house, I couldn't find the opportunity to tell you how sorry I was for the words he used. I know that Fabrice and you do not often agree, but I dare to believe that between a child and their parents, there must be a form of respect which should not be broken. I also believe that this whole scene is not a good show for my little Mimi. Obviously, you have the right to see her. I wish my daughter to have an exciting and meaningful moments with her grandparents. She must grow up knowing them. She, uh, she can count. She must grow up knowing she can count on you as much as she can count on us. I would request for you to not disclose this letter or its contents to Fabrice. Thank you, your daughter-in-law, Helena. 1978, the year before Grandpa died. I think Dad and Grandpa got into a fight. That, that was the last time they spoke. What, what a shame. The letters. I've got a feeling they'll help me remember my past. So just two. Okay, enough of that. Let's get back to that drawer. What? An old camera. My old camera. That's a funky looking camera. Unfold the flash. Nice. <laughs> Oh, it's an old Polaroid. And the little uh, latches will go on it. So that it can go around her neck. Oh, here. There. Okay, I can still hold on to it. So. It works after all these. Okay, so she's getting another memory. Mimi, wake <laughs> up! It's almost 
nine. Hmm. Time for breakfast. Hmm. Hmm. I I remember how hard it was the first few days, far from home. Okay, get ready for the day. Oh, I was gonna say it looks like. Oh no, those are clothes. I was gonna say no, it's a sticker. Breakfast ready. Right. Time to go down. Huh. Did you wear the same clothes you wore? Second day. I can't believe I'm gonna have to spend four weeks here. Sunbeam. Oh, okay. Another sticker. It's not the kitchen. Mornings were always difficult. I mean, there. Here you go, the bathroom. So there are going to be stickers added everywhere. And we're just getting all kinds of stickers. Warmth. I wonder if these words do anything or if it's just little things to collect to maybe get an achievement. Old pictures, old memories. Yes, I see the cassette tape. Where <laughs> to look like silence? There's something stuck on there, but I guess we can't read that. Collected a new tape. Can we listen to tapes? Aha. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Nora and Edward the Riddle. Wait. There. It's recording. Why are you recording? I want to hear you when you find it. When you solve my little riddle. All right, all right. Get on with it. <clears throat> okay, so. I am fresh when I am hot. Uh. <laughs> it's easy. It's always easy when you know the answer. <clears throat> this one is really easy. Uh, give me a second. Fresh, hot. A house made of stones? No. Our house is fresh when it's hot outside. That's why we bought it. <laughs> it's not the answer I'm looking for. So, do you want a clue or bread? Bread is fresh when it's That's hot. That's what I was gonna say, bread. Ah, well done. <laughs> very, very nice riddle. I love it. Oh, look, there's a spot right there. Well, we're very lucky. Every time we come here, we find a spot right outside the door. Hmm. So lucky. Every time we go to the hospital, we find a parking spot right away. Ah, uh, that's not what I meant. Come on, let's go. Hmm. Edward lost sounds. 
Can you imagine how miserable we'll be without these? These what? These sounds. Listen to this engine. How it purrs. Edouard, get your head out of that exhaustion pipe or it will fill your empty skull. What are you doing? Recording this engine's rumble. <laughs> Recording a truck engine. <laughs> In the middle of the most gorgeous poppy field you've ever seen? These engines are disappearing, Nora. I've got to save them for the next generations. <laughs> Do you actually believe our grandkids will have less engine noises? Of course. In 20 years, maybe even sooner, cars will be silent. <laughs> and they'll fly, right? Well, why not? We were born before fridges, freezers, and washing machines. <sighs> I'll be by the picnic table. <laughs> One day, she'll see how wrong she was. Okay. I shouldn't touch this. No, touch that one. Why don't you sit down? Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. be ham on my plate. What a weird smell. Do you want a drink? What do you usually have at home? Bitter, sad. <laughs> I have sad juice. Uh, I picked it up. Oh, there we go. Ow, the juice hurts my teeth. It's from a farm near here. Real apple juice. Hungry? I made some toast. Lost. Alone, deep fear. I want some honey on it. It's so dark. Is the honey old? It's chestnut honey, dear. Can I have some cereal? I bought this cereal for you, but it isn't good. Dreadful ingredients. But I like it. Your mother insisted. It's full of sugar, Mimi, really. You can have a little bit, no more. Okay. Habits. Take some cereal. Oh, oh I gotta point it the right way. <laughs> Wrong way. Oh, wait, wait. Why am I having issues with this right now? It goes back and forth. I cannot... What? Oh, there we go. Oop, oop. I totally missed my bowl. I'm missing my bowl. I don't know where the bowl is. There we go. I'll just eat those extra ones. Uh, is that good enough? <laughs> I keep missing the ball. <laughs> My grandmother's gonna kill me. Okay, how do I... Can I put it down? Come on, I told you the cereal was really bad for you. <laughs> Are you alright, Mimi? I'm okay, not hungry. I'm okay. You know that in here, it is okay to not be okay. Friends, home, hate here. Oh, friends. I want to see my friends. We're supposed to spend the summer together, sweetie. It's, it's unfair. I know you miss your parents. Hmm? And your friends. Yes. Let's go out. Let's, let's do something. Just the two of us. What do you think? I would like that. She would usually have snapped, or shouted, but she simply, she gave me something. I could tell she was forcing herself to be nice. <laughs> Go to the river with Grandma. I remember now. We would be walking down to the river. She'd be quiet, 
lost in your thoughts. My father hated it when I did that. He probably hated his mother too when she was like that. The river, the pebbles, the cold, cold water, the dull dining. The locked in your location. All right, let's go canoeing. That sounds fun. Ooh, it's pretty. The view is gorgeous from the middle of the river, but here, take this. Yay! Camera? Oh, a camera! It was your grandfather's, and now it's yours. Really? Look around you. The view is just spectacular. I'll get a picture from the middle of the river. Oh. All right, Mimi. First, you have to focus on your subject. Only then can you take your picture and voila. I wanted to get the balloons in it too, but that's good. Look, we've got company. Why don't you take a photo of those hot air balloons up there? Good. Okay. One last picture before we head home. I'm going to take it to my grandma. Look at this, my grandma. Fantastic. And don't forget, you only have a limited number of photos. Your holidays got off to a bit of a rough start. But I do hope you're feeling better, sweetie. I... Yes, I think... Today was... Pretty good. Complicated, but... Sunny. Fun. I'm glad, sweetie. What kind of pictures are you going to take with the camera? River. Nature. You. Aw, I want to say grandma. Pictures of you. Oh, thank you. But look around you. It's much more beautiful. I tell you what. Why don't we note all your ideas down in the binder? Stickers, decorate, poetry. Let's try poetry. I want to write some poetry. Poetry, what a good idea. What do you say we put more headings in your binder so you can create some great pages? Okay, craft your own page. There you go. Here you can create your own page with all the memories you get. When you're happy with your page, you can move it here and it will become part of the binder. How about creating your first page? I'll leave you to it. Oh, that's kind of neat. Audio. Curved a little. Oh, look, we get to use the stickers. Oh, and that's what we use the words for. Must admit it's fun. Momentary joy amused by smiles. Must admit it's fun. You need two more words to complete the poem. I'm discovering my grandmother. I'm okay, words without value, I'm okay, I think. It's like we missed a word. Warm moments that I collect, soft, quiet, gentle warmth, I appreciate the warmth of others. 
do warm moment that I collect. There we go. Oh no, my sticker got. Oh well. This binder was a connection between your grandfather and me. I think he would have loved seeing you using it. I I miss him. Oh, I do too, my dear. I do too. I wonder where that other word was. Letters from the past. Poems, pictures, postcards. Hmm? What's that? It's a kitty. Hmm. Oh, it must be Nora's cat. She looks hungry. What's that noise? I'd better check. Uh, how did you... <laughs> how did you get stuck in there? I'll help you. Stay still, little one. wasn't very brave there. I must be hungry. And uh, I need that key. Chapter 3 is the market. Since why I don't trust cats, they're mean. Alright everyone, so we're going to go ahead and end it there. Hopefully you've been enjoying uh, this game. I think it's called Dordogan. <laughs> I can't pronounce it. It's I didn't take French, so... Um, I'm um, pronouncing it the best I can. Uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Please leave me a like, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you next time. Bye.